Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make tons of healthy lifestyle videos and I would love to have you join our little community here, so welcome. Okay, I am so excited to try out this recipe for you guys today because it's been on my mind for quite some time and I keep telling myself I gotta try that. It looks so freaking good and I never have and I figured now that I'm in a new space, we actually just moved a couple days ago and I am trying to figure out what I want to try out that's new while we're in a new space and all that fun stuff, I just figured I might as well go ahead and try some of the ones that have been on my list and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you guys will know I do tons of healthy recipes over here specifically in the parameters of an Optavia 5-in-1 plan so if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about hi my name is Ashley I'm in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series originally going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 plan since transitioned more exercise into my day for a 4-2-in-1 but all of the recipes that you're gonna find here on my channel are going to be compliant for any Optavia plan that you're currently following or can also be implemented into any sort of healthy lifestyle. If you have no idea what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. But the basics of the introductory five and one plan is you are consuming five fuelings a day that get sent to you in your monthly Optavia box and then one lean and green meal a day prepared from home. All of your fuelings and lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. this fueling hack for quite a while and generally the recipes that I show on my channel are recipes that I have either tweaked or come up with myself and I've really just designed them to work for my plan but I do here and there like to try out new recipes that I've seen some of you guys create I've had some of you guys submit them to me to try out for myself and this is definitely one of them so I have to credit my girl Orly Grimm she just got married Miss Grimm and I actually got to be a part of the wedding so much fun she came up with a sweet potato chip fueling hack a while back and I have yet to try it. Now I'll tell you what, honestly, sweet potato chips sounds even better than what I'm gonna make today because I do not have any sweet potato fuelings on me at this moment. I actually am going to be recreating this fueling hack using my roasted garlic mashed potato fueling from Optavia. So we're gonna be making potato chips today. However, sweet potato chips sound even better. I gotta tell you, I will definitely try that next whenever my next box comes. But I wanted to go ahead and give this a shot today. I am assuming it's gonna work the same way with the roasted garlic mashed potato potatoes, but I guess we'll be the judge. You guys are seeing me try this recipe for the very first time. I'm literally just going to follow Orly's directions. By the way, if you are not already following Orly on social media, she is awesome. She has got tons of healthy recipes, all with full descriptions on her Instagram page, and I highly recommend you go check her out. I will leave her handle right here. If you want to go give her a follow, send her some love, but I have been eyeing this recipe, and she has told me it is so good. You need to try it. So today is the day. We are going to be trying out Optavia approved potato chips, and I got to tell you, I am so excited. So like I said, this is gonna be my first time making this recipe, but we're gonna do a full taste test together, see how it turns out, and you'll have to let me know if you guys try it out too. So here's what she says that we're gonna need to create this fueling hack recipe. I will leave a screenshot of her full recipe card on the screen here today so that you guys can screenshot as well if you guys wanna recreate this. But she says specifically that we're gonna need one sweet potato fueling. So like I said, I'm not gonna be doing sweet potatoes. I'm gonna do one of my roasted garlic mashed potato fueling. We're gonna need half a teaspoon of baking powder so I picked that up from our local grocery store here in Forney, Texas. It is called Brookshire's. That is like the go-to grocery store I found out here. I've only been here for like five days, so uh, who knows? Also on a side note, if you are new here and you don't really understand why I keep talking about how we're moving all the time, it's because we've been moving all the time for like two years now. We've been staying in Airbnbs, just checking out where we want to live one day. We're calling it our adventures from A to Z, so stay tuned for more content on that. But as we go to each place, we have to figure out our grocery stores and our gas stations and all that fun stuff. So Brookshire's is the place to go and and I picked up baking powder. We're gonna be doing half a teaspoon of baking powder. That's gonna count as one condiment for our day. Then we're gonna be adding in five ounces of water. So I got a water bottle here ready to go. And then we're going to be using, she used avocado oil spray. I only have olive oil spray. I'm assuming they're gonna be like pretty much the same thing. I love the olive oil spray from specifically Target as well as HEB. The reason why is specifically those brands do not have propellant in them. It's strictly just olive oil. I love that. So this is the one I'm gonna be using from HEB. We snagged it while 
while we were in Frisco and just my favorite kind of oil spray. And then she also added in a little bit of sea salt to taste. I don't think I'm gonna be using this. In my opinion, the mashed potato fueling is salty enough on its own. I'm pretty sure she added the sea salt just because it was a sweeter fueling with the sweet potatoes and it would be kind of like a salty bite if you added the salt on top of that. But I don't think I'm gonna use that today. So I think my only condiment used in this recipe is literally just the baking powder. And other than that, it's just gonna count as one fueling and one condiment. So I've got everything we need. I've also got a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, which for the record, if you guys have not already invested in the pre-cut parchment paper, like let me change your world. This seriously has been such a game changer. I can't tell you how often I would like avoid cooking because I was like, ah, oh, that's a whole thing. And like excuses, excuses. Like I can't pull out some parchment paper, but I just love that it fits so perfectly. Like, don't you? Anyway, so I will link everything that I'm gonna use in this recipe down below. Highly recommend go checking out Orly. If you haven't already, she is absolutely killing it on her own health journey and provides so many great recipes if you guys wanna try those out too. But I think it's about time we try out some potato chips. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow her instructions, see what we gotta do, and let's get started. Okay guys, so first things first, we need to prepare our batter. I have already gone ahead and preheated my oven to 350 degrees so that it's good to go, but let's start on our batter. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my five ounces of water. Then she wants us to add in our fueling, so I'm gonna add my roasted garlic mashed potato fueling. And then last, I'm gonna add in my half a teaspoon of my baking powder. I'm gonna take my mini baking utensil and mix it up. Okay, so I've mixed it almost completely, but it seems a little watery compared to the one that she made. It could be because it's a different fueling. I thought the potatoes are pretty much the same formula, but you never know. Um, so what I generally do is if something's a little too watery, I'll just let it sit for a second. I'm gonna let this sit for like realistically, potentially like five minutes or so, just to let this thicken up a little bit, and then we will plop them onto our baking sheet. Okay, so this has been sitting for uh, like four or five minutes. So this thickness is exactly what I think we're looking for. This looks a lot more like the one that she had when she was creating this. And it's just a little bit thicker now you guys can see. So this is good to go. Grab our baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And first off, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little spritz with my olive oil spray. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a spoon and just dollop our batter onto our baking sheet in the size of chips. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out now. Looks about right. Man, this feels like so much batter. I feel like this is gonna make like two batches. I seriously think I'm gonna have to do two batches of this. This is gonna be a lot of chips. You couldn't stand tall. All right, well that was everything I could get in one batch. I'm gonna have to do this twice because look how much I have left. I feel like I could make a whole nother batch of this. So let's go ahead and start with this one. Like I said, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. So let's start with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for nine minutes. Then we're gonna flip the tray around for another nine minutes and then we will flip the actual chips. So let's start that process now. Something in the air, always something in the air. Okay, so it's been nine minutes. And I can already tell <laughs> I need to do smaller ones, but we're gonna continue and trust the process. So we need to flip this around and cook it for another nine minutes. Flip it like this. And bake again. Okay, nine more minutes in the oven and they look like they're starting to crisp up a little bit. This is exciting. So now we need to flip them over. Obviously this one I'm gonna have to do something with, but we need to flip them over and cook them again. So I'm gonna take my mini baking utensil and just slide under, make sure we get everything up and flip. That looks pretty good. All right, making progress guys. Let me get the rest of these flipped. This bigger one, I'm gonna basically flip it now and then after it's cooked, I'll see if I can like break it into chips, but I'm trusting the process here. What would Orly do? She would just continue and we'll fix it later, right? <laughs> okay, so we've got all of our chips flipped. We need to do another spritz of olive oil spray and then pop them back in the oven for six to eight minutes, she says, based on desired crispiness. I really feel like I'm gonna want crispy chips, but I'm gonna keep an eye because I really don't want them to burn. So let's start with six minutes and I'll check on them. Okay, here we are at five minutes and I feel like I might wanna leave them till eight. I don't know. I just feel like we want them a little more crispy, yeah? Maybe eight minutes, but I'll let you know what we decide. Okay guys, here is eight minutes in the oven one more time. And I feel like we did it. These look like chips to me. 
I mean, this one for sure. They feel a little, like might be a little bit moist still. I feel like I'm gonna like pop them on like a cooling sheet and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the next batch since I still have more batter left, but I'm definitely gonna do smaller ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these wait for a little bit before we touch them, work on the next batch and I'll show you guys what we come up with. Okay, so I just popped my next batch in the oven, made them much smaller, that might be the key. But I will say, these ones that came out are pretty crispy. Like, I don't wanna snap it because I wanna do an official taste test, but like, I feel like these are like the right consistency. So we're gonna keep letting them cool. I think that's probably the trick. I'm gonna bake the next batch and we'll see what they taste like together. Okay guys, so here is the second batch of the chips that were smaller, that were smaller, sorry, that was my dog, uh, deciding that now is the time to shake it off. Um, so a couple of them still kind of combined and you know, it is what it is, but I took it out at six minutes this time because they were starting to get a little crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool and then we're gonna do our official taste test. I'm so excited. and I've been doing everything I can to not try it until I film this outro because I really wanna try these. Never made this recipe in my life and I'm so excited to try them on camera. So I just wanna point out before we try this, this is how they turned out, oh my God. And some of these on the top, like you can hear the crisp and I haven't even tasted it yet, okay? So what happened with the bottom ones? <laughs> is I made them a little too big, they molded together, and then because they were molded together, they weren't able to crisp up on the sides, right? So I had to like kind of pull them apart and they're gonna be more mashed potato-y, right? But these ones on the top, I'm just saying, this is chips, you guys, this is so exciting. So I'm gonna officially try out this potato chip fueling hack. And like I said, I am definitely gonna be trying this with the sweet potatoes too, but if it works with both, even better. Let's go ahead and give them a bite. Take the one off top. Let's see if we got crunch cam. I just ate a chip. That was pretty good. Don't need the salt whatsoever. There's definitely enough salt inside the actual fueling, but oh my God. Did you guys hear that crunch? This is chips. You wanna know the coolest thing? This is one fueling. I literally have an entire plate of chips here to eat for my fueling. Did we just do that? I think we just did that. Um, I'm gonna have to eat the rest of these, you guys. Uh, honestly, these are about to be a staple. I'm just saying, if you haven't tried really recreating this fueling into something that can be like a little munchy, if you know what I mean, this is the way to do it. Orly, this is a winner, I'm just saying. And honestly, it makes me so excited to try the sweet potato. I feel like the sweet potato is just gonna be the right everything. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of salty, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, so good. The bottom ones, like I said, are a little bit of a mess. Totally on me not the recipe, but I will definitely be tweaking a little bit as I go. I am so excited to make these again because I feel like it's gonna be perfect next time. But I got some chips to eat, you guys. Chips, plan approved potato chips. Just saying. You could also mix this up. Maybe if you have like a dip that counts as a condiment, you could dip these chips and dip. You know what I'm saying? Fun stuff. All I will say is I am so excited to finish these up and go ahead and comment down below. Let me know if you try out this fueling hack. Thank you so much, Orly, for creating this for us. So excited to see what you guys think. Like I said, this whole fueling is gonna count as one fueling and one condiment for your day. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video today, you guys. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos coming to you guys every single week. And I cannot wait to continue this healthy journey with you. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.